Coffee on the Radio Vision Network on this beautiful Tuesday morning. I'm shocked. I can't believe how nice it is. It was like windy as all get out over the weekend, and today it's settled down. We got beautiful sunshine, and it is bright and sunny in here because I have the man with me, the man, the myth, the legend, <laughs> Joe Calcura. How you Did doing? I say that right? Yeah, Calcura. Yeah, that's correct. That's pretty good. Now listen, my good name my sure. name is Mark Cook. Everybody knows me as Mark Cook, but it may or may not be my real name. Oh, all right. My real name Little may mystery. be extremely long in Italian, just <laughs> like yours. Little mystery. Growing up, my nickname was Cal because no one could do my last name, so it was just C A L, and that's it. That's what they had to do because <laughs> exactly. these names, you know. I, I, I love my name. It's it's a beautiful name, but for what I do, I had to change it. I had I, I had to uh, simplify it. Gotta have something nice and quick nice and, and short snappy. and quick. I wanted to keep the same first initial. You know, look. But enough about me. This is this is ridiculous. <laughs> we're already look, well. We're talking about my favorite topic, but let's talk about your favorite topic, uh, and that is the gourmet egg roll company. Yes, sir. Yes. Man, this is an awesome venture that you've got going on. Thanks. Yes. Yeah. You want, you want me to give it a little more of an yeah, intro? Sure. You want to you want to you want to break yeah, it down? Yeah, yeah, intro. Yeah. So Joe, let me just give everybody the, the breakdown. Joe is a restaurateur. This guy has been involved in restaurants his entire life. His father owned a pizza shop. Now he took over since he was thirteen, learning the business. And he, and he they look. I'm not going out on a limb to say you guys are pretty successful at it. You put out a good pizza pie. You put out quality food. The community loved it. You guys grew into two locations. Mm -hmm. Everything was going great, and you were like, you know what? I want to make some egg rolls. Exactly. That's pretty much what happened. I said, I got to do something else. I don't, I don't have any free time as it is. Why not bring on another venture, right? So tell me how it evolved. <laughs> what, 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 how did it come about? Uh, I, I guess about six years ago with my then uh, girlfriend, who's now my wife, we went out to a bar, and uh, we had something on the appetizer menu, which was these spring roll, cheesesteak spring roll things. Mm -hmm. And uh, they came out, and I was eating them, and I said to myself, I was like, you know what? I can make these. They're pretty good. I could probably do better. You could make it better. Exactly. Yeah. So then I started toying around with the idea, and uh, it took me a little while to figure out. I didn't know too much about egg rolls. I didn't even know how to roll an egg roll. I didn't right. know how to cook an egg roll. So I did a lot of research online, Googled some YouTube videos, and then I started working with my suppliers to try to find the actual skin Right, the called, roll, the tortilla, or whatever. Yeah. it's called a skin, and um, I got my hands on some. Started messing around with some stuff in the kitchen at the shop, and we would eat them. And I'd be looking at people, uh, my my kitchen guys and my father, and I'd be like, "Man, these are pretty good. We should probably do something with these." Yeah. So then I started toying around with some ideas, and uh, next thing you know. It took a little bit for my dad. He's a little hard-headed, uh, you know. Italian I imagine guy. he's old school he Italian, yeah, right? He doesn't like change too much. So right. I said, look, you know, we can sell these. We can make some money. Here, you know, there's good profit margin. But Huge we'll margin, I would bet. So it took a little bit, but as we started selling more and more of them, all of a sudden, then he became like, yeah, hey, this, we should put these on the menu. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. so we did, and uh, we did that for a little while. And then in the background, I was always working with like, what can I? What else can I put in these things? You know. So I started toying around with some things here and there. And then uh, everything I put in there turned out to be pretty good. Well, and that's it. I think this is a huge thing that we should talk about because, you know, when I think of an egg roll, I think of my Chinese restaurant sure. type egg roll. It's got, you know, and, and, and they're very good, but these aren't that at all. The, these, yeah. aren't, these aren't Asian style, no. um, Asian cuisine style egg rolls. They are, they're the American version. And sure. so talk about some of the things that you put in these egg rolls. Yeah, so we got a whole line on online at GetEggRolls.com. You can go on and purchase. They're frozen. They come ready to heat up in your uh, con conventional oven at home. And we do all kinds of stuff. I, uh, the traditional ones are a cheesesteak, cheesesteak with fried onions, buffalo chicken, pizza. But I also get into like a breakfast line. I have sausage, egg, and cheese, bacon, egg, and cheese, I, ham, egg, and cheese. It is, it's like... I, my, there's little pieces of my brain that are exploding yeah. because I never, I didn't, never thought like, look, cross, uh, whatever, hybrid, making food, changing things like concepts. That's this is common nowadays. Or fusion, the fusions, or we're putting different things with things we never put before. Yeah. So I never would think that an egg roll could could have all of this power, yeah. right? But think about it. It's portable. It's mm -hmm. small. It's compact. It's easy. To, it's easy on the go, right? Yeah, it's quick. And you can you're creating basically entire meals in these egg rolls. Yeah. Now, and we should say we're going to bring some of the egg rolls out in a little bit. But 
they're not like the little nah, egg rolls. They're they're, yeah, they're enough. They're they're, 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 they're <laughs> enough to eat. Like a, it looks like you have one or two, you've got a meal. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's the thing about them. They're, they're the same size as like your traditional Asian style egg roll you would get at a Chinese restaurant or an Asian restaurant. And uh, but we film with all kind of different creative things. Yeah, like I said. you stuff them. They're, they they look a little bit more stuffed. Yeah, yeah. They're like a three and a half to four ounce egg roll, and two of them usually will satisfy you. Sometimes one. We sell them in three packs at the shop, just because we sell them as an appetizer, so this way right. people can share. But um, as one person, I mean, one, one is a nice snack. Yeah. Even two, two will probably fill you up. Yeah, and and, it, and it's like it's such a cool thing because you're you're changing almost like the fast meal game right this right. is the, this is a huge thing in our society it's stuff that's ready to go stuff that's ready yeah. to eat right like and yeah. people people claim they don't have time to do anything anymore right sure. so so all of these options that are available for people you get your groceries delivered to home you can actually get full meals <laughs> yeah. delivered to your house right like right, right. right. they try to make it as easy as possible sure. and they try to try to give you we have more options with that now so you're kind of like you're kind of in that market, but you're even revolutionizing that piece of the market that's revolutionizing the market. Right. And How did you do that, Joe? That's just creative, <laughs> creative thinking. Now, I, you know, just being in the food business, I said to myself, you know, I like doing what I do, and I, I always was looking for, like, what, what can I do next? Yeah. You know, what, what might elevate me to another level and all? And I chose food as my path in life. And, uh, so I started like um, playing around with these egg rolls. Everyone likes egg rolls, yeah. and uh, you know they're they're such a they're, fun. they're already a well known thing. Yeah. And I said, well, let's just throw some really cool stuff in there. So like I said we got chicken parm, and everything's hand everything's hand done. There's no machines, there's no processed meat. Everything's fresh, simple ingredients that go in these things. So you can also eat them and know that you know you're not eating some kind of mystery right. ingredient that you really don't know what's in there. Right. You know, they say chicken's in there, but is chicken really in there? Yeah. Right. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, well, so you can make yeah, all of them. Everything's handmade. Wow. Now, yeah, now, handmade. well, wait a second. When we start selling a ton of these, right. yeah. are you going to have to? Yeah, I'm in the works right now, working with a couple uh, facilities and. If I do take on that next venture, everything will be the hand rolled. Everything will be hand done. Well, it might well, not be by me personally, but they'll be hand rolled. Uh, and I think that that's an important part yeah, of the integrity of the product. Huge. Because I really didn't want to get involved if I do go to that next level, which mm -hmm. that's the plan. I don't want to go into the automated type thing because right. I just feel like you lose that. You lose so much. You lose that. Um, the integrity of the product just diminishes. Yeah, it's um, it, it, it's it's it really the quality comes out of the process. Sure. I mean, and that's what that's what a lot of uh, you know very intelligent people talk about. You know, and and I am here to drive everybody to get eggrolls.com. But man, I think we might we should probably go on Shark Tank or something. <laughs> it's so funny. A lot of people since I started with this, everyone's like, oh, you gotta go on Shark Tank. Go. And I love this show. <laughs> I watch it all the time. Right. But I don't think I'm. I'm I'm not, not quite there. there. Yeah, only because those guys have big money. They they don't have a lot of time to spend. With, right. Uh, they kind of want you rolling a little bit, and they need help to get to that next level, which is what I'm working on. I got. We don't need them, Joe. We don't need them. Nah, nah, like, <laughs> I, I don't. I don't personally want to unless I have to. Right. But, um, right. Because because that's almost like. I need a cash infusion, right? Right. I got to sell a little bit of my soul, a little bit of uh, whatever to get <laughs> exactly. it, right? Right. It just, it just it just kind of depends on your dynamic. We are jamming this morning. We are moving so fast, Joe. I got to take a quick break. Yeah, sure. We're gonna come right back. Okay. We got a couple commercials. We'll come right back. We'll, we'll, right. we'll keep going. So stick through the break. This is Morning Coffee. I'm Mark Cook. This is the Radio Vision Network. Stick around. Simply Gents, located in Marlton, New Jersey, takes care of all your grooming needs, including haircuts, straight razor shaves, massages, facial, manicures, pedicures, and waxing. To find more information or book an appointment, visit us online at www.simplygents.com. The secret weapon of a well-groomed man, Simply Gents. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to make a really great sub, this is what we do. It's what we've been doing. It's what we've always done. It's what we'll always do. So what are you doing? Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. 
Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Martha, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more. Today's show was brought to you by Alicia Kelly of Whitehorse RV Center in Williamstown, New Jersey. Alicia is your RV expert. Contact Alicia at alicia at whitehorserv.com or give her a call at 856-262-1717, extension 203. When you think of RV, think Alicia Kelly. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to give a sub some sizzle, this is the way. The way it's always been. The way it always should be. The way it always will be. Because that's just the way it's supposed to be. Jersey Mike's, be a sub above. Extra Innings is the nation's premier indoor baseball and softball training center featuring indoor batting cages, seven multi-use tunnels, and training rooms. Extra Innings can provide professional instruction, private and group lessons, and the best year-round clinics. Along with a nationally recognized pro shop that features the latest and widest selection of equipment and apparel, our experienced staff can provide you with the right instruction and help you find the best equipment for your ability and budget. Extra Innings, where the game never ends. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Martha, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more. Today's show has been sponsored by Farmers Insurance in Voorhees, New Jersey. To protect your assets and the people you love, call Mike Skoranek, your local Farmers Insurance agent, at 856-336-2553. If you haven't been to Speed Raceway, what are you waiting for? You want to live fast? You want to make every second count? Then grab the family. Round up the guys. Speed Raceway is 100,000 square feet of excitement, whether you're a kid or a kid at heart. Speed Raceway is the place for endless fun all summer long. Log on to SpeedRaceway.com or just get here now. Welcome back to Morning Coffee. I am Mark Cook on this beautiful Tuesday morning, and we're jamming. We're moving right along. We are rocking and egg rolling this morning. I'm sorry. That was terrible. <laughs> uh, anywho, we're here with Joe Calicura. I love yes. that. And I'm saying it slow because I don't want to screw it up, and I keep <laughs> looking at it. I know what your name is. It's right. Joe Calicura. I, I, I know it, but for some reason, it's like that crutch yeah, thing. You, you, you feel like you got it. Well, I don't want to mess it up, right? <laughs> it's fine. You That's the respect you demand yeah, and deserve. I don't want to mess your well, name I, I up. You're doing that. a really cool thing here. So what happened was you were out to dinner one night, and uh, you were at one of the national chain-type places, because I know those are the ones that, that really love to pump out these, these cheesesteak egg roll-type th things, yeah, right? Yeah, the type thing. That's... So, so, I, and, and I was like, I was a fan of these things too, because I didn't know there was any other alternative, right? right. That was the only place that you could get them, you know, you know, your neighborhood place. Anywho, so uh, you would go there and you'd be excited to get them and you'd get them and you'd be like, oh, they were good, but they were okay. So you had the idea, I can do this better, right? right? They're a food factory is what they are. I'm yeah. going to personalize it and I'm going to, I'm going to really put some personal attention and make these things. So we actually have some of them here. The flagship, the cheesesteak egg roll. Are yeah. we gonna cheers them and just jump right in? Yeah, I don't normally eat cheesesteak egg rolls this early in the oh, morning. Right. But, yeah, well, hey, it's all, it's all right. I've but, been a little while. I mean, they smell <laughs> so good. And, and I don't know if you can see, it is just like perfectly cut cheesesteak with the cheese. You can see uh, see some uh, some fried onion in there. Oh, that, no, that one doesn't have fried onion. This one doesn't have fried no, onion. It looks like it. It's the cheese. It's the cheese. Yeah. Okay. It's all incorporated. This throughout. is a without? Why'd you, why'd you bring me to without? Well, I, I don't know because I didn't know of your preference. <laughs> Come on, man. You watch the show, right? You know I'm a wit guy. I gotta be with it. All right, let's go. Mm. All right. Yep. 
This is so awesome. This is un this is unbelievable. Yeah. The the shell. What did you call what did you call it before? It's, it's um it's called a skin. The skin. Yeah. It is like the tastiest, lightest, fluffiest thing. And then inside, the steak. You you're using real good. Oh yeah, this is you're real, using good steak. Yeah, this is real steak. Yeah. Hmm. Like I said that's what it's about. No processed stuff. Just bear with me. We're gonna sit here and eat some egg rolls. Hmm. <laughs> Go to getegrolls.com and you can order these you can things. See for yourself. A whole line of flavors. They're awesome. So, no, you, you see Keith, or, or my boss, he's yeah. hovering around the back. <laughs> I should have brought some breakfast ones, right? That wouldn't have made sense. No, 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 no. <laughs> they, these, they, this is it, man. Uh, honestly, don't bring the breakfast ones until you perfect them. Oh, they're good. They're, they're perfected? Good. Oh, yeah. Well, well then you well, should have brought breakfast. Know, so come on, man. I had them at the Collins with Mayfair last week. These are so good. Oh, so you you bring them out, huh? You guys. Well, that was my first time doing a fair, mm -hmm. and uh, it went pretty well. It was good for a lot of exposure. Some people there actually have had them before from the pizza shop, but uh, it was a uh, it was a pretty neat experience. There were a lot of people there. People were pretty excited. You absolutely have to bring these to every type of open air festival market um, that you can you can get them in because. The real value in these is trying them. Oh, yeah, sure. Right? I had a lot of free samples out there, obviously, because some people might not have been aware of what they were. Mm -hmm. So we, we had a lot of samples out. And pretty much once they ate the samples, they Yeah, I mean, and honestly, this is like the easiest thing in the world. He packages them for you, so all you have to do is pop yep. them in the oven. Ready to go. I mean, and that's what we did here. I don't know if you guys know this. We have a little oven here. <laughs> he brought them in. We warmed them up. They're awesome. Like... I don't know if we did it on purpose or how we did it, but they're like they're really hot and warm on the inside, but they're not overpoweringly right. hot, right? Sometimes it took a lot of um, a lot of research to get those times down. Yeah, that's a huge thing because a lot of times when you have food like this that's in some sort of casing or shell, mm -hmm. the inside oh, gets oh, so hot. Yeah, and burn your mouth up. Oh man, what is that one pizza uh, item? You warm them up, like the pizza rolls, whatever they are. You yeah, warm those you things know. up, and they are like atomic fire when you when you bite into them. Right, exactly. I find myself having to peel them apart to let them like cool off a little bit. Then you have to put them together. Now with these, these, these are ready to go. Now, in the first segment, I said they're bigger than normal egg rolls, and he was like, no, 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 they're normal regular size egg rolls. No, they're not. Look at these. These are bigger than than a regular egg roll. Yeah, they're a good size. And they're um. Because they're so stuffed, they're not that like real, real tight roll no. that kind of makes it hard, hard to bite into. That's what we were going after. I wanted, like I said, when I first started this, I didn't know a lot about rolling these things. Mm -hmm. You know, I did some research and all, but sometimes the Asian ones are really tightly wrapped. Yeah. Um, but these, like I said, we, we want the filling to shine. You know, we, yeah. But I mean, the skin is a very good skin. I get this skin from right from the manufacturer. And, um, I go there and get them myself. So it's a really good skin, but you really want the inside and the fillings to really be... To stand out, right. Right. Be, right, because that is the true essence of an egg roll is what's inside it. Sure. And of course it all has to work together. Right. Well, right? Yeah. Your skin needs to be a, of good quality and well, a good skin, otherwise yeah. it probably doesn't keep it together as well. It probably doesn't exactly. taste as good. It's right. got a lot yeah, of things going been on. Other, I've tried some other um, skins and just wasn't happy with them. Well, and that's an important thing. I mean, you, you kind of just touched on it, but you went through a lot of trial and error process with this. So it's not like this was the first product that you put out. You've tried so many different skins and fillings right. and process and temperatures and times and all the stuff that you've really There's put the work in. Right, a lot to, of research and development went into this. It's so, so you could be really proud of the product yeah. That's when people about. come in and try it. And, and what's happening is, is people are coming into the shop, the pizza shop, um, they're ordering them because they sell them ready to go in the pizza shop. But on the website, getegrolls.com, you can get them um, shipped, right? Yeah, there's a pickup option for people who live locally. Obviously, there's no cost for that. Um, you'll get an email confirmation and I just let you know when they're ready. You come pick them up. Or... I've shipped them. I've shipped them all over the United States via UPS. Uh -huh. It's a little bit more expensive because they, the way they have to be shipped, frozen. Right. But I have people who buy them for relatives. I've shipped them to Arizona, Ohio, Florida, 
And um, or if you're locally but you still don't want to come pick them up, I charge a five dollar flat rate, and we'll set up a time window and we'll send them right to your house. Right? You'll de you'll deliver them. Me or I have some right, right. That will do it. Yeah, yeah, we'll deliver them right to you. You're your, not passing them no, off to the no, mail no, or no, something. Yeah, you right, got exactly. you guys are yeah, taking we'll take care right of it. Right to you, right to your doorstep. And, so what he's saying is that he likes to take care of his customers. Obviously, it's customer yeah. focused, customer oriented. Look, you can't build a, a pizza place. And uh, it's Picasso's Pizza. Yeah, we keep just calling it Pizza Place. It's Picasso's Pizza in Washington Township. You can't compete in pizza in Washington Township if well, you're not good. It's in Mantua National Park. Okay. Uh, I'm from Washington Township. Sorry. Just all right, so I'm screwing. All right, Washington so I'm Township. screwing it all up here. Joe's from Washington <laughs> so Township. I don't want to correct this. Don't want people. No, 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 no. Correct me. Look, honestly, pizza in Washington. Yeah, the the important thing is the information is right. This stupid host, you you correct him as much as you, as much <laughs> yeah, as you possibly want. So, so you're from Washington Township. Yes. But the but Picasso's Pizza is in National Park. Yes. Okay. That's where this is all based out of. Right. So, the point of that was that they've. They've competed in a very competitive yes. pizza market yes. and won and, and have been successful, which means that there's track record behind these egg rolls. Right, it's exactly. not, it, I think that that's a big point for, for people to understand sure, that sure. you're not rolling these up in the back of a van and pumping <laughs> them out. You, no, no. You're, you, you know, were you, is all of your training from the restaurant or did you maybe take any schooling or classes that, or anything? It is. It is a family business. Yeah, pretty much all from you've the been there. You've been there your whole life. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you that that is experience and education that you and can't all. necessarily get in a, in a classroom, right? right? Yeah, yeah well, that's the truth. So um, I don't. I'm not sure what's happening here. If we actually have to take a break, or if Keith just wants one of these egg rolls, which I think <laughs> is actually more like it. But I. Well, but regardless, we're gonna take a break. All Stick right. through the commercials. We'll be right back. More with Joe, GetEggRolls.com, do it. Saving your business money is as easy as one, two, three. Tanker Consulting Services, a payment solutions expert, will show you how with a free, detailed, written analysis illustrating your cost savings. We usually uncover savings between 10 and 25% and sometimes more. We can help your business succeed by providing reliable and secure merchant payment solutions such as merchant services programs, point of sale systems, and ATM machines. TCS, one of the leaders in regional credit card processing consulting, offers electronic payments to merchants locally and nationwide through our preferred vendor programs. We work to keep business costs down with a comprehensive suite of quality products, services, and customized credit card processing programs exclusively tailored for your company. TCS is convenient, reliable, and innovative with customer service available 24-7, 365 days a year. Our in-depth industry knowledge, partnership strategy, and innovative processing solutions allow for a specialized approach to providing merchant bank processing with 100% full fee disclosure. TCS is one-stop shopping for all your merchant services solutions. Our clients save money 100% of the time. Trust Tanker Consulting Services, the knowledgeable, professional, and friendly provider of secure payment services. We set the standard by which others are measured. Call now for a free written analysis. 609-922-0201. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Martha, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more. Today's show was brought to you by Alicia Kelly of Whitehorse RV Center in Williamstown, New Jersey. Alicia is your RV expert. Contact Alicia at alicia at whitehorserv.com or give her a call at 856-262-1717, extension 203. When you think of RV, think Alicia Kelly. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to give a sub some sizzle, this is the way. The way it's always been. The way it always should be. The way it always will be. Because that's just the way it's supposed to be. Jersey Mike's, be a sub above.
Extra Innings is the nation's premier indoor baseball and softball training center featuring indoor batting cages, seven multi-use tunnels, and training rooms. Extra Innings can provide professional instruction, private and group lessons, and the best year-round clinics. Along with a nationally recognized pro shop that features the latest and widest selection of equipment and apparel, our experienced staff can provide you with the right instruction and help you find the best equipment for your ability and budget. Extra Innings, where the game never ends. Welcome back to Morning Coffee. I am Mark Cook. This is the Radio Vision Network, and we are egg rolling right along here with Joe Cavacura yes. from the Gourmet Egg Roll Company. And Joe has been holding out such great information. <laughs> Why did you wait until the last segment to tell me that these things are actually kind of good for you? <laughs> It's surprising, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'm you, shocked. I'm surprised. The cheesesteak egg roll is only 200 calories. 200 calories per each egg roll and five grams of fat. Which, to have cheesesteak stuffed in a fried pocket egg roll, it's pretty impressive. That's pretty darn good. And the reason that he knows that is because he actually sent it away and did yeah. lab testing on yes, it. Yes, I did, yes. So, so I can't... I, honestly, if you haven't ordered any egg rolls by now, you're missing the boat. So he did all of this research to make sure that they taste good, and then he spent more money to have it yeah. tested to make sure that like all of the nutrition-based stuff yeah. was there as well. Exactly. So I want to see what it was all about, make sure to see what these things were, because everyone's into the uh, trying to make better decisions nowadays. Smaller yeah. portions may have you, but. Uh, so it was kind of important that I, I didn't want to have a product that was, you know, too overbearing on the calorie or, or fat content because you want people to feel good about what they're eating. That of was course. the whole process with the no processed meat, fresh ingredients inside, and they're really not that bad for you as well. I might start the egg roll diet pretty soon. Listen, right? this is this is genius. Rolls. It's beautiful because right now there's an older woman in yoga pants somewhere, <laughs> and she's like, well, I can't eat egg rolls because. Sure. Uh, you know, no, 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 hey, honey, you can eat egg rolls. This would be the best cheat meal that you could possibly have, right. and it's you're not even really cheating that much. Right, and one one will satisfy probably most people as a nice little, little snack. Yeah, know? it's it's such a cool thing. So we ate the cheesesteak ones in the last segment, and we have two other kinds here. Yeah, I know have, this have, is pizza, we right? Have pizza here, which is traditional pizza sauce and mozzarella cheese. And, and this is the buffalo, buffalo chicken. chicken. This is the guy I'm, this, I'm, I yeah, want to try. Is, Pretty, this one's been transformed a couple times, so this is a... So this is like chicken. just like a traditional uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. shredded buffalo chicken? Right, with hot sauce, with, which we make at the shop as well, and uh, blue cheese. It's only a little hint of blue cheese. It's yeah. in the background. I didn't want it to be over overpowering because not a lot of people don't... Uh, some people don't like blue cheese, but you got to have it in there because that's kind of how the buffalo chicken mm. thing goes. So we didn't want it overpowering. Get you in the background, but it's... Uh, Pretty good. You know, it's so so funny when you see people eating on TV and they do like these cooking segments. Yeah, right. You're like, could it possibly be good? Could it really be good? Or are they just good actors? <laughs> I don't have to act at all no. with this stuff. This stuff is awesome. And you know what? We had the guy from River Horse Brewing in last Friday. Oh, really? Cool. There is this, he's got this light summer beer that would be so perfect with these, yeah. these egg rolls. So you can do like a glass of wine or a nice beer yeah. with these, and it's yeah. like, it's like the perfect like sit on the patio and yeah. have a nice uh, have, have a nice little egg roll. Like mm -hmm. you're trendy and cool. Yeah, you're exactly. eating like like trendy awesome. Food, trendy beer. Yeah, trendy wine. yeah, right. And you feel like, hey, I'm modern. I'm yeah, cool, exactly. right? It's 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 so good. Like <laughs> what I like about this is that I took a bite. And not all this stuff shot out yeah. the back, right? And not all this like juice and grease and all this stuff. It did. It, it, it took a little, little bit of work to get that way because when we first started making these um, buffalo ones, they they did kind of splatter mm -hmm. a little bit. So we had to tweak the recipe a little bit. But you can see what you're eating. You can see the chicken in there. I mean, I can taste the chicken in here. <laughs> it tastes like real chicken, like real good buffalo chicken. And that's some of the problems with the buffalo chicken is that, that a lot of restaurants, you guys don't even realize this, a lot of restaurants buy their buffalo chicken already buffaloed. Like, mm -hmm. that's not the way to process it, yeah. uh, honestly. It's, it's, you may not know the difference unless you're like kind of in tune with it, but you can taste the difference in these because 
you can tell that the chicken was prepared fresh for this this mm -hmm. egg roll, not for not something the else where they just, you know that's how wings came about, right? Right. They were basically the leftovers. Guys came in after their shift mm -hmm. to the Anchor Bar in Buffalo, and the guy was like, bar owner was like, I don't have anything to feed you. Yep. And he was like, oh, well, the, the hot sauce, throw some hot sauce on those chicken pieces, that's and that's how wings came out. Yeah, and now they're so popular. Yeah, right? <laughs> So that's what we're gonna do. We got, that's what we gotta do with these. We gotta figure out how to get these out uh, so that people try them because these are gonna be as popular. They're that good. Well, you can try them at getagrolls.com and you can order as many as you want. Also with the chicken farm ones, go back to the chicken thing. The chicken cutlet in the chicken farm egg rolls is hand breaded right in the shop. Hand breaded, cook, cut down, and put into the thing. We don't buy the chicken that comes already. It's, everything's real chicken breast, hand breaded, and put into the chicken farm egg roll. Same thing with the meatballs. The meatball farm ones, we make the meatballs right there as well. So you guys, wait a second, you make a meatball parm egg roll? Yeah, yeah, with homemade meatballs. <laughs> I, yeah. listen, again, I, I'm gonna let you behind the curtain. Our, our owner, Keith, he's in a food coma. He hasn't even eaten any of this stuff. He's just dreaming about these egg rolls. Joe, you are on, you're on a gold mine here. You're sitting on a gold mine. The people, you need to go to getagrolls.com and check out the gourmet egg roll company. Yes. His name is Joe. Joe, I want you to do me a favor right now. I want you to look into camera one. All right. And tell everybody whatever you want to tell them. Invite them down. They they have to try these. No, egg I just rolls. want you to see for yourself. Go on the on the online store, getagrolls.com. There's also an 888 number there. If you have any questions, feel free to call. I answer the phone. There's not an automated. Uh, system of network that you have to go through if you do call the number i'll answer any questions that you have if you don't feel comfortable putting your credit card online you can call i can do it over the phone whatever you're comfortable with and like i said you can pick them up we'll send them to you try them out they're really good they're really popular and people are loving them listen this guy's passion in life is to make egg rolls so the least you could do is try one of these egg rolls right. you're not going to regret it it is it is awesome they're so good and we're talking about meat a lot but i do have some meatless options and we are working on some more um, the pizza ones obviously don't don't have meat and i do have a uh, fresh sauteed spinach mozzarella and garlic which is really good and uh, it, that that's sounds awesome one. yeah are we're working we on some new ones also like broccoli and cheddar we're going to be able to open an entire restaurant concept based on egg rolls. Have I you thought, thought of this? Yeah. <laughs> I thought about it. Kind of like a subway thing where you go right down the line, you can create your own. <laughs> create my yeah. own egg roll? Yeah. yeah. Uh-oh. Working on it. Not Cat? bad yet. Cat's out of the bag. <laughs> hey, don't steal our idea, will you? It's patented. We're watching you. It's don't... trademarked. It's tri... <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and try. Go ahead and try to steal it. See? Now we don't even care because we're covered. <laughs> well, right? Exactly. Well, well so. we do care because <laughs> that's where the Italians will come out. Listen, don't mess with our egg rolls, yeah, all right? We'll make a couple phone calls. <laughs> Joe, this was awesome, man. Yeah, Thank you so it. much for coming in. Very I really much. appreciate Thanks for it. Me. I had a great time. Make sure you check out getegrolls.com. You can buy all of these awesome egg rolls and check them out. Um, the Gourmet Egg Roll Company, you're not going to regret it. They are the best. These are the best egg rolls I've ever had. I'm not, appreciate not it. even uh, exaggerating a little bit. So, we got to wrap it up here on Morning Coffee this morning. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I am Mark Cook. This is the Radio Vision Network, and we'll see you again soon.